even though Las Vegas is often what people think of when they think of Nevada, there is a lot more to the state than gambling, big buffets, and quick weddings. So I've assembled 15 amazing facts about Nevada. So let's get right into number one. There are more hotel rooms in Las Vegas, Nevada than any other city in the United States. Don't worry if you're planning a last second Vegas trip, most likely they're going to have rooms available. And that's because Las Vegas has over 150,000 hotel rooms, which is far more than any other city in the United States. But obviously be careful because quantity doesn't always mean quality. Because there's some pretty shady spots around Las Vegas. But if you're not looking to gamble in the big city, maybe number two will be more your speed. Because Nevada is home to the most wild horses in America. In fact, more than half of the wild horses that are in America live in Nevada. And these horses have changed so much in order to fit these dry environments. Everything from the shape of their teeth to how they control their body temperature has changed so that they can truly thrive in this dry climate. But if horses are boring to you, maybe number three will pique your interest. And that's State Route 375, or better known as the Extraterrestrial Highway. This highway is 98 miles long right in the smack dab middle of Nevada. Along this route, there is a long history of UFO and alien sightings. And also, Area 51 is located right off this highway. This highway has been a place where a lot of UFOs have been seen over the last few years. Or, of course, at least that's what people claim. And they even have a sign that says Extraterrestrial Highway. So, now it's actually pretty official. But what's even weirder than this highway is the official law that Eureka, Nevada made. Which brings us to number four, the mustache law. There's an actual law in the town of Eureka, Nevada that men with mustaches are not allowed to kiss women. It's absolutely the strangest law in Nevada's history. They also have a law that it's illegal to ride a camel on a highway, but that makes a lot more sense than the mustache one. But you know what doesn't make a lot of sense? Number five. And that's that Las Vegas consumes more shrimp than any other city in the United States. The city consumes over 60,000 pounds of shrimp per day. You think for a city literally in the middle of a desert that a seafood wouldn't be their specialty. It must be all those Las Vegas buffets. Let's move on to number six. The oldest human mummy ever found in North America was found in Nevada. It was discovered in a cave called Spirit Cave back in the 1940s. Inside, they found the mummified remains of a man. In 1990, they re-examined it and discovered that it was over 10,000 years old, which was far older than the recent mummy that they found in Washington State. Let's move on to number seven. The government actually owns 85% of the land in Nevada. Nevada has definitely gone against the norm on this one because the average that the government owns of each state is only 28%. In 2015, an article was released saying that the government owned an amazing 58 million acres out of the estimated 70 million acres in Nevada. Between the Bureau of Indian Affairs and the Bureau of Land Management, it's just amazing that there was any land left over. But what's even more interesting is what's inside all of this land. Which brings us right to number 8. Nevada has the most gold out of any U.S. state. Nevada produces over 80% of the gold that is mined in the United States. And it's the fifth largest source of gold in the entire world. And you might say, damn, that's a lot of gold, which brings us to number nine. There is enough concrete in Nevada's Hoover Dam to build a two-lane road from San Francisco all the way to New York. The Hoover Dam was the largest public works project in the history of the country. 
and it's over 700 feet tall and weighs over 6 million tons. And like I said before, if you used all that concrete to build a road, it would stretch thousands of miles, which is really long, but not as long as number 10. The longest Morse code telegram ever was sent from the state of Nevada. Way back in October of 1864, as the Civil War was coming to a close, Abe Lincoln was running for re-election and was trying hard to get votes from all the new states in order to keep his job. Since large gold and silver deposits had already been found in the territory, Nevada was already growing and changing really quickly. This gave Lincoln the idea to make Nevada its very own state, which he thought would help him get re-elected. But because it would have taken way too long to get there by mail, Nevada used Morris Code to send their entire constitution to Washington, which was necessary in order for them to be adopted as a state. And it took over seven hours to do this. So they spent a modern day equivalent of $60,000 in order to send this message. Let's move on to number 11. The loneliest highway in America is in Nevada. Route 50 is the most direct way to get across the state. It goes through several towns and mountain ranges as well as a national park and right by a lake. Way back during the gold rush, it was a very popular road and people used to call it the backbone of America. But years later, it would be mostly useless. The road got its nickname in 1986 when Life magazine published a picture of the deserted unmarked highway. It was marked with the warning, don't drive down this road unless you're sure you can survive. But this highway isn't the only lonely thing in Nevada, which brings us to number 12. The town of Rhyolite was built during the gold rush and it very quickly became a busy place, with more than 2,000 gold claims covering everything within a 30 mile radius. And many businesses came to the town and the town started to thrive. But by 1911, after the financial panic of 1907, it had became a ghost town, which you can still visit today and see many of the buildings. But if you decide to visit this dry desert ghost town, make sure you bring some water because you can't survive like number 13 can. In Nevada's Death Valley, a kangaroo rat can live its entire life without drinking a single drop of water. The kangaroo rat is strange because it's neither a rat or a kangaroo. And they live by digging holes in the ground and a kangaroo can live pretty much its whole life without drinking any water because it's learned to live in these harsh conditions. This tiny creature's ability to live in these conditions is truly a sign that life is worth living and we can't help but give it a thumbs up. But with all that being said, let's move to number 14. By the 1950s, a Nevada test site known as Area 51 was attracting tourists by saying that they could watch an atomic mushroom cloud explode while they were sitting in a pool. Most people don't find anything interesting about a nuclear test site today, but if you look at footage, you can see that back in the 1950s, nuclear test sites were a big draw. In fact, over 200 reporters came to watch a nuclear bomb go off. People in Las Vegas only had two weeks to prepare. Many people were worried at first when the first explosion went off, but after a while, they changed their minds. Shortly after some of the first tests, the Chamber of Commerce started promoting this nuclear test site as a must-see attraction, and a whole tourism business was built around it. From atomic lunch boxes to the Miss Atomic Bomb beauty contest, there was always lots of ways to make money off of this testing site. About one bomb went off every three weeks on average. But after just a few short years, this tourism industry completely died out. Now let's move on to our last fact, number 15. Mormons were actually the first non-native people to settle in the state of Nevada. 
kind of ironic that this state calls its biggest city Sin City. In 1857, Mormon pioneers were the first ones to really settle and develop Nevada. Maybe all the Mormons started to move away once Las Vegas became popular. Well, that just about does it for this video. Did you already know some of these facts? Leave it in the comments below. And go ahead and subscribe because I have a lot more content on the way. Until next time, peace.